What's up? This is Jake with Hike734, and today I'm hiking to Vernal Falls, wow, Nevada Falls, wow, wow, and all the way up to the iconic Half Dome, all in Yosemite National Park. trail starts out over by Happy Isles and it just kind of works its way all the way up and I went up the Mist Trail and then came along just continued to follow the Merced River up through little Yosemite Valley and then cranked away to Half Dome all the way to the summit. I started out in the parking lot for this trail um, and that's not right next to the trailhead and you walk past the campground and then eventually you come over to the bus stop for Happy Isles which is another option if you park somewhere else you can always just take the bus over there and then from there you cross over the bridge over the Merced River and then you start working your way up the well-traveled and popular path and this one's a pretty dang steep trail and so you'll definitely spend some time working your way um, up through the trees and you have sparse views every once in a while of um, the river but you spend just a lot of time climbing and um, but you can hear it roaring below and um, eventually you come over and you cross over on the bridge that's really pretty the huge boulders in that are awesome and um, in the springtime it's roaring more which um, I have video of when I went ahead to the panorama trail so once across the bridge you just kind of continue that steep climb up and then it starts to get even more steep and you just continue to work through a bunch of these different steps and then um, you get to see Vernal Falls and um, you get little pocket views at first and you're looking at the Merced River and then you um, quickly come to find out why it's called the Mist Trail. Um, it has the waterfall is just kicking mist up onto this trail and um, it's just a powerful waterfall just one of those tall falling over um, just a sheer wall and it's just really pretty um, and then from there the trail is not out to make friends it's only there to make it to the top fast and so you have to climb really steep and you kind of hug the cliff um, where it's been chiseled out and stuff but anyways really a cool little experience and then you just get to the top of it and it j just having multiple perspectives like this so great it's really really pretty and then from there um, you continue on and there's this really cool pool there it's called emerald pool and then just another really cool cascade over there um, and then eventually if you just continue along the trail um, you'll go ahead and just get another view of that as you cross over on another bridge um, and so yeah just just really sweet stuff and this is the like one of the few parts of the trail that's actually level for a little bit um, and then after that there's just a bunch of these really really tight switchbacks that as you're heading on up and so you um, definitely uh, you're you're working all day <laughs> is, is basically the way this thing works but it's just really cool stuff and um, eventually you come up to the junction with the um, John Muir trail and on the way back down I'm gonna go ahead and take that and I'll go past Nevada Falls um, but I stayed left and then here you go up a little bit more um, on some more switchbacks through the trees as you're kind of going around Liberty Cap and then you drop down um, along the the Merced River in the little Yosemite Valley you get a couple of little views of the river but um, it's just a really kind of cool forest and um, and you just kind of work wander through there and um, it kind of opens up a little bit more so it's just kind of a nice change of pace which I am always a big fan of variety on hikes and then then it turns up and starts switchbacking up again um, once again the theme of the day and climbing up up and then it um yeah it just kind of goes through some you know alternates a little bit between um you know kind of the bigger tree forest and then my kind of open manzanita sort of thing but um yeah just really just kind of a cool forest and um the goal of this whole thing is just to get up high because <laughs> there's a lot of elevation still um and then it just starts switchbacking through these trees and then finally you come up to a junction with the trail that goes off to clouds rest and obviously we're going to go ahead and stay to the left because we want to hit half dome and so that just continues to work its way up you know just a lot more of that climbing switch back in the trees and then eventually you start to come around on the edge of the hill and you can feel the the terrain shifting to where downhills on your right hand side and then that starts to to open up more and you really start to get a sense of like okay now we're really getting on on the actual ridge line and then you just do a bunch of um then it opens up into this really cool rock and then there's a bunch of these switchbacks 
backs, um, really, really tight switchbacks that are just carved out of the stone. Some of them are actually stones to make the steps, but it's really impressive. And now we're climbing up onto subdome. And, um, and, and when you first start this section, this is the section where you need to have a permit to go up onto subdome and then, um, yeah, eventually you get to the top of Subdome, and then you see all the people on the cables. And um, it's unnerving just going up if nobody was going, but I do have to say going up with a bunch of people coming down and going up is definitely a sketchy experience. <laughs> um, this is the way you get up to the top, but it is not one without anxiety. So anyways, but eventually um, everybody was able to figure out how to sneak past everybody else and made it to the top. And it's there's the big old fire burning right now, so that's my disclaimer, but the views are still fantastic. It's just amazing you're just really in the middle it feels like you're just right in the middle of the park um, and there's just great views all around the you know the north the south everywhere it's just awesome so even when the sky is just full of smoke it is still stunning and the cliff is awesome and um, yeah just really cool even got to see a peregrine falcon flying around um, so super super cool and um, and then from here I'm gonna go ahead and work my way down the cables which I'm looking forward to less going down than coming up but I think it's less busy right now which is awesome and then um and then on the way back i'll go ahead and swing past nevada falls which i'll go ahead and show here and um but then i'm not going to go ahead and go through all of the, the different twists and turns because you can go ahead and check out my blog when i did the panorama trail with glacier point and everything but anyways here it is the iconic half dome um, this one's a pretty one, pretty hard one to beat just because of it's a cool summit, really, really unique, and you have these two amazing waterfalls. But as you can see behind me, it's just epic, and then you can look over here and see a little bit of clouds rest. So anyways, this is Jake with Hike 734, hiking Vernal Falls, Nevada Falls, and Half Dome in Yosemite National Park. And just a few other items of note. Number one is make sure you bring enough water and because there's not a whole lot once you start climbing. Number two is make sure that you get a permit because Half Dome requires a permit. And um, number three, make sure you bring a pair of gloves, like work gloves, if you forget them. There happened to be a huge pile up there. I don't know if that's standard. I wouldn't necessarily depend upon it, but it is there for your use. And lastly, I saw my first trail cat. This is a bobcat that I saw on the trail and I am completely beside myself because this cat is amazing and seeing a bobcat anywhere is not that common and so anyways I'm super stoked so anyways got to see a bobcat in Yosemite National Park if you like this video make sure you subscribe on YouTube and head on over to hike734.com for more goodness